Hello and welcome to 1969 Baseball. The Cubs, after completing a lackluster homestand, have made some changes to the active roster. A number of trades have been executed and some call-ups have happened, so we'll review all that. The Cubs, first off, traded Archie Reynolds and Joe Decker and minor leaguer Joe Urbanovich to the White Sox, getting Don Eddy and Paul Edmondson, a pair of pitchers that are going to work in the bullpen. Next, the Cubs traded Phil Regan and backup outfielder James Burnett and pitcher Steve Barber, along with backup infielder Mike Litsecki, to the Dodgers, getting first baseman Wes Parker and closer Jim Brewer in return. Parker is expected to split time with Ernie Banks over at first, and Brewer will very likely be slotted into the ninth inning in the Cubs' bullpen. Matt Alexander was also called up from minor leagues. Additionally, the Cubs traded Jim Dunnigan and center fielder Ralph Gar to the Seattle Pilots, second trade we made with the Pilots this year, getting 26-year-old center fielder Jim Grosger in return. And next, we see the Cubs trading... Roe Skidmore and Dave LeMans to the Twins in return for backup outfielder Herman Hill, who will be slotted in probably as the fourth or fifth star outfielder in the Cubs rotation. So, moving along to today's game, we see the Cubs are now embarking on a road trip, which will start out in Houston. This will be an 11-game road trip visiting four cities. So let's see what today's game has in store for us. Cubs coming off of a day off and traveling to Houston. We see that the Cubs are going to send Dick Selma out to the mound. He is making start number seven with a 3-2 and two record and a 3 0 9 ERA, 123 whip. He will have a lineup of Jim Grosger batting leadoff and playing center field, followed by Glenn Beckert, Billy Williams, Ron Santo, Ron Blomberg, Randy Hunley, Don Kessinger, and Ernie Banks batting eighth. The Astros are going to send Larry Durker out to the mound. He's making start number nine with a 2-2 two two record, 447 ERA, and a 141 whip. And the Astros lineup will include Dennis Mankey, Norm Miller, John Mayberry, Jim Wynn, Bob Watson, Doug Rader, Marty Martinez, Jesus Alou, and the pitcher Durker batting ninth. We are inside the Astrodome today, so the weather is not a factor, and we are going to get this game underway. We're at the eighth wonder of the modern world down here in Houston, Texas, as we see that the Cubs are taking the field. So we have Larry Durker out on the mound for the Astros, facing the Cubs' new leadoff hitter, Jim Grosger. For Seattle, Grosger went 286 with six home runs and 23 RBIs so far this season. Durker facing Grosger. The Cubs coming in at 14 and 22 while the Astros coming in at 25-12 and 12 and on a five-game winning streak. So, Durker on the mound, one ball count, facing off against Grosger. Here comes the pitch, and Grosger grounds it back toward the mound. Durker has it, throws over to first. That'll be out number one. Next up is Glenn Becker with one out and nobody on. Here's a one ball count, and the pitch to Glenn Becker, and a grounder toward third. Third baseman picks it up, standing on the line. He throws over to first, and that'll be out number two. Billy Williams now batting with two outs and nobody on. Here's a full count pitch to Billy Williams, and there's a liner into center field. That's going to be a clean single with two outs, putting Billy Williams on first and bringing Ron Santo up to bat. Two outs, one man on top of the first inning. Here's a full count pitch to Ron Santo. Durker delivering, and a grounder toward short. Picked up and thrown over to first, and Santos retired easily to end the inning. Cubs stranding a runner. We're going to the bottom of the first of a scoreless ball game. 
Dennis Menke is leading off for the Astros here in the bottom of the first inning. Dick Selma on the mound. Selma working with a two-strike count. And here comes the pitch. And a swing and a miss for strike three. That was a big curve, and he missed it badly. Next up is Norm Miller with one out and nobody on. 2-2 two, two count. Selma delivering the pitch. And a grounder toward first. Ernie Banks has it, stepping on the base. That'll be out number two. Mayberry is the next batter. Two outs and nobody on. Selma facing Mayberry with the first pitch. And there's a drive. Deep center field. This is going to be trouble. It's going back to the wall. Grosgan looks up, and that is gone. Home run number five of the season for Mayberry. 476 feet to straightaway center field. So we have a 1-0 Houston lead here in the bottom of the first inning. Jim Wynn is the next batter. Two outs and nobody on. Full count pitch to win. And a grounder toward first. Banks has it. This time flipping to the pitcher covering and retiring the out. The runner to record the third out. We're going to the top of the second. It's a 1-0 Astros lead. Ron Blomberg coming up for the Cubs here in the top of the second inning. One and two count. Blomberg waiting for the pitch. And a swing and a miss for strike three. Blomberg heads back to the dugout. He is strikeout victim number one for Larry Durker. Next up is Randy Hundley with a full count. Randy Hundley waiting for the pitch. And he takes strike three, a slider at the knees. Tough pitch. Hard to imagine he was going to do much with it anyway. Next up is Kessinger with two outs and nobody on. 1-1 one, one is the count. Kessinger waiting for the pitch. And a liner right at the first baseman. Mayberry stretches out and makes the catch to end the inning. Cubs retired in order. We're going to the bottom of the second of a 1-0 ball game. Bob Watson facing Dick Selma here in the bottom of the second inning. 2-2 two, two count. Watson waiting for the pitch. And he's hitting the knee. So he heads down to first. That's a hit by pitch to lead off the inning for the Astros. And now Doug Rader is the batter. With nobody out, runner on first. Here's a three and one pitch from Selma. And that's outside. It is ball four. So Selma issuing the walk. First two runners are on for the Astros. And now Marty Martinez is the batter. Nobody out, two men on. Astros already up by one. Here's a one strike pitch from Selma. And a pop up on the infield. Kessinger going back. He calls off Santo and makes the catch standing on the edge of the grass for out number one. Jesus Alou is the next batter. One out, two men on. Two and one is the count. And Alou pops it up in foul territory. Banks is chasing. He makes the catch near the dugout for out number two. Larry Durker, the pitcher, now is the batter. He's two for 17 on the season. Facing Selma with two outs and two men on. Two strike count and a swing and a miss for strike three, and that'll end the Astros half of the second. Two runners are stranded. We're going to the top of the third of a one nothing ball game. Ernie Banks leading off for the Cubs here in the top of the third inning. Two strike count. Banks waiting for the pitch. There's a grounder right in, out in front of the plate. The catcher pops up, grabs it, throws down to first. That'll be out number one. Dick Selma now the batter. One out and nobody on. One strike count. The pitch to Selma, and he pops that one up to left. Heading over to make the play is the left fielder. Miller, he catches it for out number two. Grosger now the batter. Two outs and nobody on. Here is the first pitch to Grosger, and he's going to ground that one toward first. Mayberry has it. He flips to Durker covering the base, and that'll end the inning. Cubs go down in order. We're going to the bottom of the third of a one nothing ball game. Dennis Menke leading off for the Astros here in the bottom of the third inning. Selma working with the first pitch, and there's a liner up the middle. Kessinger grabs it, throws over to first, and that'll be out number one. Miller now the batter with one out and nobody on. Here's a full count pitch to Miller, and he takes outside for ball four. Good eye to draw that walk. He heads down to first with a one out base on balls. And now Mayberry's the batter. He hit a home run his last time up. Selma better be careful with him right here. Don't give him anything good to hit. Here's a 2-2 count. And that gets away. Man, that's not what I had in mind when I said don't give him anything good to hit. That was a wild pitch. It was all the way to the backstop. So a full count now on the batter with two out, with one out. And the runner advancing to second. Here's the full count pitch from Selma. 
and it's inside for ball four. So that is the walk. That is the third walk of the game issued by Selma, and it brings up win. With one out, two men on. Selma looking for the ground ball double play right here. Here's the first pitch. The runner goes. The throw goes down to second, and he is out. Nice throw by Randy Hundley to throw out the runner trying to steal third. And now, with two outs and a runner on first, Selma is still facing win. Here's a one and two count, and a swing and a miss for strike three. So Selma strikes him up with the slider. Win goes down swinging to end the inning. It is still 1-0 Houston. We're going to the top of the fourth inning. Durker facing Glenn Beckert here in the top of the fourth. One strike count. Durker delivering the pitch. And a grounder toward short. Picked up and thrown over to first. That is going to be out number one. Billy Williams, the next batter. One out and nobody on. Here's a 2-0 count and the pitch to Billy Williams. And a pop-up on the infield. The pitcher going over. He's called off by the third baseman. Raider making the catch for out number two. Ron Santo, the next batter, with two outs and nobody on. Here's a full count pitch to Ron Santo, and he's going to line that one into center field. That one's going deep. It's one hop off the wall. Santo rounding first, heading for second. He's got extra bases as he has a two-out double here in the top of the fourth inning. So Santo keeping the inning alive, and it brings up Blomberg with two outs and a runner in scoring position. Cubs trying to tie this ball game up in the top of the fourth. Here's a full count pitch to Blomberg, and he's going to drive that one into center field. The center fielder plays it on a hop. Santos coming home. He's going to score the tying run as Blomberg stops at second with an RBI double. Nice piece of hitting by Ron Blomberg right there to drive in the run. Back-to-back -back doubles here for the Cubs in the top of the fourth inning. Randy Hundley now the batter with two outs, another runner in scoring position. Hundley facing Durker with a three and one count, and Durker loses him, that's ball four low. So Hundley takes his base, which brings up Don Kessinger with two outs, runners on first and second. Blomberg is pretty quick. Hundley is not. I feel like if I did the double steal, they'd just throw out Hundley at second and end the inning, so we're not gonna do that. With two outs, runners on first and second, Kessinger the batter, here's a three and one pitch. And he takes ball four, so Kessinger heads down to first, and that will load the bases as Ernie Banks comes up here in the top of the fourth inning. Banks facing Durker with two outs. Bases load in the top of the fourth. Cubs trying to score some more runs. The tying run has already come in this inning. Here is the first pitch to Ernie Banks. And he's going to line that one over the shortstop's head into left field. That's going to drive in another run. One run is in. Another runner coming home. The throw comes home. He is safe. The Cubs now have a 3-1 lead as Ernie Banks has a two-run RBI single in the top of the fourth inning. And now the batter is the pitcher, Dick Selma. All this happening with two outs here in the top of the fourth. Durker really struggling to get the third out. So Selma facing Durker with two outs and two men on and an 0-2 count. And Selma swings and misses for strike three. So that ends the inning. We're going to the bottom of the fourth. The Cubs now have a three to one lead. Selma facing Watson here in the bottom of the fourth, leading off for the Astros. First pitch from Selma, here it comes. A liner right up the middle. He just about took Selma's head off right there. That will be a single as he scorched that one out into center field. Raider now the batter, with nobody out, one man on. Here's a 2-0 pitch from Selma. And a liner into left, coming in fast is Billy Williams. He'll make the running catch for out number one. Martinez now batting with one out, one man on. Here's a 2-0 count, and the pitch to Martinez. A grounder toward short. Kessinger has it, flips to Becker. Oh, and the ball is dropped. Glenn Becker drops the ball. That could have been an inning-ending double play. Kessinger actually is credited with the error for a bad throw. That's error number five for him on the season. So now Selma has to face Jesus Alou with one out and runners on first and second. Here is a three and one pitch to Alou and a pop up to right center. Heading over is Blomberg. Grosgan calls him off. He makes the catch for the second out of the inning. The runner at second tags up and advances to third. 
and that will bring up the pitcher Larry Durker with two outs and runners on the corners. Selma facing Durker. He is 0 for 1 today. Here's the one ball count and the pitch to Durker. And a liner into center. Coming in fast is Grosgan, and he will make the catch to end the inning. So, Selma works his way out of another jam. We're going to the top of the fifth now of a 3-1 to ball game. Grosger leading off for the Cubs here in the top of the fifth. He is 0 for 2 in his Cub debut. Here's a 1 and 2 count and grounds it back, right back to the pitcher, Durker. Picks it up and throws over to first. That's going to be out number one. Glenn Becker now the batter. One out, nobody on. Here's a 1 and 2 count and the pitch to Glenn Becker. And a grounder towards second. His counterpart, the second baseman, Menke, Makes the play, throws it over to first. That's out number two. Billy Williams now batting. With two outs and nobody on. Here's a 2-0 count to Billy Williams. And a liner into left. That's going to go all the way to the wall. One hopping as that's going to be extra bases for Billy Williams. He slides into second with a two-out double. Nice piece of hitting right there by Billy Williams. Find the gap in left center field. And that will bring up Ron Santo. With two outs, runner in scoring position. Santo, one for two already today. Facing Durker with a one and two count. Here comes the pitch. And Santo grounds it to short. Picked up and thrown over to first. That is going to end the inning. So the Cubs stranding a runner. We're going to the bottom of the fifth of a three to one Chicago lead. Menke leaning off for the Astros here in the bottom of the fifth inning. Selma facing Menke, who is 0 for two today with a two two count. Dick Selma delivering the pitch. Liner into center field. That's going to be another base hit. So Menke has his first hit of the ball game. And Selma now working with a runner on first and nobody out. Miller batting with, with a runner on first and a 1-1 count. And there's a liner in the left field. Billy Williams is going to cut it off before it gets to the wall. However, that's back-to-back -back base hits for the Astros here in the bottom of the fifth. And now Mayberry is the batter as the Astros get around to the middle of their lineup. And I believe it's going to be time to warm up a relief pitcher. So we have all kinds of new options available to us in the bullpen. And to start out with, the new, well, that would be the Astros bullpen. That's why I didn't recognize any of those names. So, all right. Again, a bunch of new options in the Cub bullpen. However, in this particular situation, we're going to warm up Diego Segui in case if we need somebody to bail us out of this inning. We're going to go out to the mound, and Selma says, I'm not even close to being tired, but Segui is warming up, and Selma has allowed back-to-back -back base hits to lead off the bottom of the fifth. So Selma working to Mayberry, who's already got a home run in this game. 1-1 one, one count, and Mayberry pops it up to short left field. Coming in is Billy Williams. He gets under it, make the catch for out number one. One out, two men on now, as Jim Wynn is the next batter. Two and one is the count. Wynn lines that one into center field. That's going to drive in a run. The center fielder, Grosger, has it. Oh, and they do not test Grosger's arm. The runner stops at third, which loads the bases for the Astros. And it brings up Bob Watson here in the bottom of the fifth inning. So this is going to be the moment because Diego Segui is ready to come in. We're going to bring him in in this situation and hope that he can get a ground ball to end this inning. Segui is going to come in and bat ninth. He is going to face Watson with one out and the bases loaded here in the Astros' half of the fifth inning. Nowhere to put Watson. Three and one count. Segui looking for the sign. Probably coming with a fastball here. And a pop-up left center field. That's going to be deep enough to drive in the run. Billy Williams has it. He throws home. The runner comes home. And the run scores on an RBI sacrifice fly. So this is now a three to two ball game. The out is recorded. So now there's two outs and runners on first and second here at the bottom of the fifth. And now Doug Rader is the batter. The Astros trying to keep this rally alive here in the bottom of the fifth inning. Two strike count, Segui 
looking to deliver the pitch. And there's a ground ball up the middle. Kessinger has it. Throws to first, and that is going to end the inning. So, a run scores. We go to the top of the sixth of a 3-2 ball game. Blomberg leading off for the Cubs here in the top of the sixth inning. He is one for two with an RBI in this game. Facing Larry Durker with a two and one count. Blomberg waiting for the pitch. And a grounder towards second. Second baseman has it, throws over first. That is going to be out number one. Next up is Randy Hundley with one out and nobody on. Durker facing Hundley with a one and two count. And there's a big swing and a miss for strike three. That was a fastball. Just blew it right past him at 94. Four strikeouts on the day for Larry Durker, which brings up Don Kessinger with two outs. Nobody on base. Here's a one strike count and the pitch to Don Kessinger. And that is going to be a liner in the center field. I believe that's going to drop in for a base hit. So a two out single for Kessinger puts him on first and it brings up Ernie Banks. Now, if the pitcher's spot comes up, we're definitely pinch hitting, which means that I need a reliever warming up for that scenario. The Astros would have the seven, eight, and nine batters coming up, a switch hitter and two righties. So we're gonna warm up Jim Britton. All right, Durker facing Banks, two outs, one man on here in the top of the sixth inning. Here's a one ball count. Ernie Banks waiting for the pitch and a drive left field. The left fielder heading toward the line. He's going to have room though and he tracks it down for out number three. So the Cubs strand a runner. They do not score. We're taking a 3-2 lead into the bottom of the sixth inning. Jim Britton is still warming up down the bullpen. Segui is going to face the lower third of the Astros lineup here in the lower half of the sixth inning. One ball count from Segui looking to deliver the pitch. And there's a grounder toward first. Banks has it, steps on the base. That'll be out number one. Next up is Jesus Alou with one out and nobody on. One, one is the count. Alou waiting for the pitch. And here it comes. And a liner past the third baseman in the left field. That's gonna be a one out single for Jesus Alou. He stops at first and it'll bring up the pitcher's spot which will be Larry Durker, probably looking to lay down a sacrifice right here. We're gonna sit Britton down because he is warmed up. He's ready to come in. So, Segui facing Durker in an obvious sacrifice situation. Astros down by one, tying run on first. Here's a one strike count and he lays down the bunt. The throw goes over to first as the pitcher fields it and they throw out the runner to take the second out of the inning. So next up is Menke. Now, we're going, because he's one for three, and actually I should have had the lefty warming up. Really should have had the lefty warming up. That's me falling asleep on the job here. Um, I wonder if we can, we're gonna warm up Brewer. Actually, we'll warm up Eddie. We're going to visit the mound. I'm not tired at all. Let me pitch. Lefty is warming up. We're going to make a pickoff throw over to second. Throw to second just to give him some more time to warm up. Not in time as Sagi does not possess a particularly good pickoff move. So now Sagi facing Menke. We're gonna to try to get him out because there's two outs. The tying run is in scoring position. Here's a one strike count and the ball gets away. That's a wild pitch. It's going all the way to the backstop. Alou advances to third. And now the tying run is only 90 feet away. Segui facing Menke with two outs and a runner on third. Here's a 2-2 pitch and a pop up to right. Hopefully this ends the inning. Blomberg coming in. He's gonna make the catch and that will be it. So Sagi escapes the inning. The time run does not score. We're going to the top of the seventh of a 3-2 ball game. Now we're going to get a pinch hitter for Sagi. Let's see what we're going to do here. If we go over to here, we're going to see, oh yeah, we got Wes Parker. This is exactly the situation where Wes Parker needs to be pinch hitting. So he's going to come up and pinch hit for the pitcher's spot here in the top of the seventh inning. Parker 
facing Durker to lead off for the Cubs in the top of the seventh. Cubs up by one, looking to add to that lead. Here comes the pitch to Parker, and he's going to drive that one into right. The right fielder will play it on a hop, and that will be a leadoff single for Parker here in the top of the seventh. Does Parker run well? No. I mean, he's intelligent. He runs, he steals well, but he doesn't actually have any speed. So we're not going to be doing that. So now Gosger is the batter. Gosger coming up with nobody out, runner on first. He is 0 for 3 in his Cub debut so far. Durger facing Gosger with a one strike count. Here's the pitch, and that gets away. So Parker is going to advance down to second on the wild pitch. And Gosger now has a chance with a runner in scoring position. So 1-1 one, one is the count, and they're going to intentionally walk him. Putting Gosger on first sets up the double play, and it brings up Glenn Becker. Nobody out, runners on first and second. The Cubs trying to add to a 3-2 lead here in the top of the seventh inning. Here's a one-ball count, Becker waiting for the pitch, and he lines that one toward third. The third baseman steps on the base to retire the lead runner, but there's no throw as that is the first out of the inning. So Billy Williams now the batter. Runners still on first and second, now with one out. And with Gosger as the lead runner, I would love to try to steal right here. We are actually going to swing away at the first pitch and see what happens. That is a changeup for a strike. So now, we're going to try the double steal on the second pitch with Billy Williams batting. And there is the pitch. The throw goes down to third, and he is out. So Watson throws out the lead runner. Beckert still advances to second. So Williams now batting with two outs and a runner still in scoring position. We're going to switch this back over to one pitch mode. Here's a 2-2 count, and Williams grounds it back toward the pitcher. The throw goes over to first, and that is going to end the inning. So the Cubs do not score. They strand a runner. We're going to the bottom of the seventh of a 3-2 ball game. Now, who did we have warmed up? I don't even remember now. I do know that, I believe it was Brewer. No. Was it Hamilton? All right, so Don Eddy is going to be the new pitcher for the Cubs. We're going to see Wes Parker slotted in at first base. Eddy will actually come in to the number eight spot and pitch as Ernie Banks will be substituted out. So Eddy is going to be asked to face the first two batters in the inning, and then Britton will probably be brought on to face Wynn and Watson. Now, Eddie coming on as a relief pitcher here for the Cubs in the bottom of the seventh. He has thrown four innings, walked eight, struck out three, and has a 15.75 ERA. But this is his first appearance for the Cubs, and we're hoping that this is going to be a little more successful for him. Eddie working here in the bottom of the seventh inning against the Astros' number two batter in their lineup. Here's a one strike count. Eddie looking to deliver the pitch. And here it comes. And a drive deep right field. That's going to be trouble. Blomberg chases it back to the wall, and this game is tied. So we have a solo home run lead off the bottom of the seventh inning, and now it is a 3 3 tie here at the Astrodome. Eddie now facing Mayberry with nobody out, nobody on. One run already in. Here's a 2 2 count. Eddie facing Mayberry. Here's the pitch. And a swing and a miss for strike three with a split finger fastball. That's what you're supposed to do to a left-handed batter. So now, Jim Wynn is the next batter. We're going to visit the mound. Britton says, yeah, I'm ready. So now, we're going to bring in Britton to pitch here in the seventh inning. And he's going to come into the number eight spot. And so the righty Breton will be brought in to face the next couple of batters, which are righties in the Astros lineup. Breton 
has thrown 17 innings, walked six, struck out 10, and has a 3.18 ERA. He's working with one out, nobody on base here in the bottom of the seventh inning. Britton looking to deliver the first pitch to Jim Wynn. Here it comes. And a pop-up behind shortstop. Kessinger going back into short left field. He'll make the catch for the second out of the inning. Watson now the batter with two outs and nobody on. Here's a 2-2 count. Watson waiting for the pitch. Here it comes. Pop up to center. Grosger coming in. He's got a line on it, and he makes the catch to end the inning. So, the Astros do tie up the ball game. We're going to the top of the eighth in a 3-3 affair. Santo leading off for the Cubs against Durker here in the top of the eighth. Santo waiting for the 1-1 pitch. Here it comes. And a grounder towards short. Picked up and thrown over to first. That is going to be out number one. Next up is Blomberg. Blomberg, one for three with an RBI today. Facing off with Durker. With one out, nobody on. Here's a one and two count. Durker delivering the pitch. And a pop up to center. The center fielder adjusts slightly to his left, and he makes the catch for out number two. <clears throat> Randy Hundley now the batter with two outs and nobody on. Hundley waiting for the three and one pitch. Here it comes. And a grounder towards second. Looked like he swung at ball four right there. He's thrown out for the third out of the inning. We're going to the bottom of the eighth now. It is a 3-3 ball game. Britton will continue to work as he faces the lower half of the Astros lineup here in the lower half of the eighth inning. Britton will face Doug Rader to lead off for the Astros in the bottom of the eighth. He is also due to bat second in the next half inning, so this is going to be it for him one way or the other. Full count as Britton looks to deliver the pitch. Here it comes. That is inside for ball four. So Britton issues the walk. And now that is going to arouse activity in the Cub bullpen. We are going to see now the lefty Brewer is going to be warmed up. And also... We're going to warm up Edmondson as well in the, in the event that we would need a right-hander. So now, Britton facing Martinez with the runner on first and nobody out. Britton needing a ground ball right here. Here's a one-strike count. Britton looking to deliver the pitch. Here it comes. And a grounder to first. Throws over to second. The shortstop, however, does not send the relay back as he is upended on the double play attempt. So now there's one out runner on first, and Jesus Alou is the next batter. He's facing Britton with one out, one man on. Tie ball game, one strike count. Here's the pitch. Britton, and there's a pop up to left. Billy Williams is tracking toward left center. He's going to get under it to make the catch for out number two. Next up is the lefty, John Delintz. Dolinsek? John Dolinsek, I'm going to say. This is his first at-bat of the season. The lefty is facing the righty Britain with two outs and the runner on first. Dolinsek must have just came up from AAA where he looks like he did a little bit to try to earn his keep down there. So, because everybody's still, I guess we could visit the mound and see Edmondson is ready, but Brewer is not. So we're going to let Britton face Dolinsek with two outs and the runner on first. Here is a 2-2 count and the pitch. And there is strike three called. So Brewer strikes him out to end the inning. We're going to the top of the ninth. We're still tied up at three. And now we're going to see Dooley Womack will be the new pitcher for the Astros. He's thrown 22 in the third innings, 20 walks, 13 strikeouts, and a 322 ERA. Brewer and Edmondson will both have to sit down for a little bit here. Don Kessinger leading off for the Cubs here in the top of the ninth inning. Kessinger facing the righty Womack from the left side. Here's a one and two count. Kessinger waiting for the pitch. And here it comes. And a pop up to left. Heading toward the line is the left fielder. He'll make the catch on the run for out number one. 
And now we have the pitcher's spot up, and that is going to prompt another pinch hitter. This time, it is going to be the lefty Willie Smith. He will come up to pinch hit for the Cubs with one out, nobody on, in a tie ball game in the top of the ninth inning. Smith, 5 for 35 with a home run this season, facing off with Womack. Here's a full count, and Smith is waiting for the pitch. And there's a swing and a miss for strike three. Swung right over that slider. And now Wes Parker is the batter. With two outs and nobody on, Parker facing Womack from the left side. Here's a two and one count. Parker waiting for the pitch. And a liner into center field. That'll be a base hit. So Parker gets the two out single and he's standing on first. And now Gosker is the next batter. So Parker, do I want a pinch run for Parker? I don't know, with two outs, it doesn't hardly seem worth it, but it might literally be the difference in this ball game. I've got Willie Smith, who can stay in the ball game and play first. And I'm just not sure whether it's worth it. I feel like this probably is a spot to utilize a pinch runner. So in this case, the pinch runner is gonna be Herman Hill, because 99% of the reason we have him on this team is to do things exactly like this. This dude is just a track star. So Herman Hill stepping in to, bat, to pinch run for Parker over on first, and Gosger now is the batter. Two outs and one man on, and we need to make sure we have, we need to make sure we have our relievers warmed up for the next half inning also. Brewer and Edmondson both need to be ready to come into this game. Now, Womack facing Gosger, Hill on first, we're going to do pitch by pitch and see what happens here. The throw goes over to first. Yeah, they know. Hill is in there because they want it. Because he knows because they want to try to steal second. So now Womack facing Gosger. And another throw goes over to first. Head first slide and he dives back under the tag. Womack now facing Gosger. With the first two pitches were both pickoff attempts. Let's see if we can steal second now. Oh, and another pickoff attempt, and he is safe. Three consecutive pickoff attempts. Well, now we're definitely going to try to steal second. So, Womack on the mound. There goes the runner. The slide, and he is safe at second. So, there is a steal to put the go-ahead run in scoring position. A one-strike count now as Gosger is still batting. And now we're going to let Gosger swing away at a 2 and one pitch, and they're going to intentionally walk him. So he goes down to first, and that'll bring up Glenn Beckert. With two outs and two men on, Beckert facing Dooley Womack in a critical situation here in the top of the ninth inning. The go-ahead run is Hill over on second base. Womack working with the first pitch to Beckert, and here it comes. And there's a liner into left field. Is that going to drop in? It does for a base hit. Hill rounding third. He's heading home. The throw comes home. The slide, and he is safe. And the Cubs take a 4-3 lead in the top of the ninth inning. Glenn Beckert with a critical RBI single here in the top of the ninth to allow the Cubs to retake the lead. And now Billy Williams is the batter with two outs and two men on. Womack facing Williams. Cubs up by one. And here is the pitch from Womack. First pitch to Billy Williams. And a liner in the center field. Is that going to drop in? No, the center fielder has it. Wynn makes the running catch to end the inning. The Cubs, however, retake the lead 4-3 as we go to the bottom of the ninth inning. And now we're going to see Brewer is going to come in. He is going to come in and pitch. Willie Smith will stay in to play first. And Edmondson will be sat down. But if we get too far into this inning, I would certainly consider bringing him in to face some of the right-handers that are further down in the Astros lineup. So, Brewer facing the Astros leadoff hitter, Menke. Here in the bottom of the ninth inning, Cubs up by one. Here's a 3-2 count. Brewer 
collecting four saves already this season, delivering the full count pitch. And there's a pop-up, deep left center field going over is Grosger, and he makes the catch short of the warning track for out number one. So Mankey certainly gave that one a ride, but that's the first out of the inning. It brings up Norm Miller. He has a home run in this game already. Two for three with an RBI. Miller facing the lefty Brewer with a one and two count. Brewer delivering the pitch. And there's a pop up to right. Blomberg chasing toward the line. Medium depth. He makes the catch for out number two. And now Mayberry is the next batter. He also has a home run. The Astros had several home runs in this game. So, Brewer facing Mayberry with two outs and nobody on in the bottom of the ninth inning. Here's the one strike count and the pitch to Mayberry. And there's a liner past the short of the second baseman in the right field. That is a two out single. So the Astros now have the tying run on base. And Jim Wynn is the next batter. Brewer is going to see his day end right here because Edmondson will be brought in to face the righties that are coming up in the Astros lineup. Edmondson is brought in. He's making his first appearance for the Cubs. He has thrown seven and two-thirds innings, seven and one-third inning, a one-walk, four-strikeout baseball with a buck 23 ERA. Edmonds facing Wynn, who is one for four on the day, with two outs and a runner on first here in the bottom of the ninth inning. Edmondson working with a one and two count. Here comes the pitch from Edmondson. He's looking for the sign. Here it comes. A grounder towards short. Kessinger has it. And he can't make the play. What happened? Ed Kessinger couldn't get it out of his glove. And they're, they're ruling it an infield single. So now the Astros, that should have been a game-ending ground out. And now the Astros have the tying run in scoring position. And Bob Watson is the next batter. He's one for two with an RBI. He comes up with two outs and two men on here in the bottom of the ninth inning. Edmondson facing Watson with a full count. Here comes the payoff pitch and a grounder towards second. Beckert has this one. He throws to first and that ends the inning. So the Cubs are victorious 4-3 over the Astros here in Houston. The Cubs getting four runs on nine hits with one error. The Astros three runs on nine hits with no errors. The player of today's game is the Astros' Larry Durker. He threw eight innings of seven-hit, three-run baseball with three walks and four strikeouts. The Astros' Womack suffers the loss. He drops to four and three. He threw one inning, allowed two hits, a walk, a run, and a strikeout. The Cubs' Britton is credited with the win. He threw an inning and two-thirds of scoreless relief. Brewer getting the hold, Edmondson getting his first save as a Cub as he got the third out of the game, and the, the third out of the ninth and the final out of the game. So the Cubs improving. They are now 15 and 22. As the Astros' winning streak is ended, they dropped to 25 and 13. Thank you for watching 1969 Baseball.